Here we go. This is the start of the real showdown. This is the British rider, the winner of the Tour de France last year, the silver medalist in 2011. He is the Olympic time trial champion, and we see the start now of Bradley Wiggins. This is the Swiss rider, four times the world champion of the individual time trial. Spartacus himself is on the start ramp. This is Fabian Cancellara. He's the penultimate rider to go, and Cancellara now is underway. Fabian Cancellara accelerates now, interestingly, in Lequeep after his interview yesterday. He said he wasn't going to ride this time trial. All his eyes are set on winning the World Road Race Championships on Sunday on a course that many people doesn't say don't suit him, but he thinks it does. Cancellara then decided that with respect, he thought he should ride this individual time trial and try and go for gold. And now we go back to the start of the defending champion of the World Championship time trial, the German rider twice the world champion tony martin is now going to try and win a hat trick of world championship titles tony martin now underway for germany as wiggins looks for the fastest route can he now produce a time trial to put him in the top three he won the tour of britain last week he uh, rode a very, very intelligent race in really terrible conditions. It poured with rain pretty much for seven days. Cancellara now hunched over those bars, trying to get his head lower down towards the arms, looking very, very compact, very powerful, pushing himself back in the saddle. But look at Tony Martin, a man on a mission, wearing number one, looking for a hat-trick of victories, and looking as fast as a Lamborghini right now. He's absolutely motoring, this German rider. Martin is looking magnificent out on the course as we get the comparison. He's still fastest. Wiggins is 24 seconds down right now. So the big gear of Tony Martin is putting paid to the efforts of these other riders right now. But Bradley Wiggins looks like he has got into his stride. He is now starting to motor. Maybe he's let Martin and Cancellara go ahead. Now he's going to start to ride them down and use his time trialing prowess. But it's a big, big ask to come back at Tony Martin. Wiggins right in the centre of the road, though, churning the gears over. There is no rock and roll on Wiggins whatsoever. As he heads now to this point, look at this. Wiggins now is starting to accelerate, but he's going to be slightly outside the time of his uh, Sky teammate, Kirienka. 28 minutes, 5.38 for Wiggins. 51.456 kilometers an hour. Right, now we're looking at the arrival of Cancellara. This is a fast time. He's going to be the first rider under 28 minutes by the looks of things. Kirienka, 28 minutes, 1.92. And Cancellara is looking rapido on this course now. 24.09. Cancellara with a blistering 20 seconds faster. 27 minutes, 41.05. And Cancellara is absolutely motoring full gas for the Swiss rider. It's the longest individual time trial ever in the World Championships by over seven kilometers. But Tony Martin is answering every single question of the pre-race build-up. Tony Martin heading towards the intermediate time split. He is going to blitz the time of Cancellara by 13 seconds. 52.631 kilometers an hour. So, at the second sector, Martin leads, Cancellara second, Kirienka third, Wiggins fourth, Finney fifth, Quada in sixth. And Cancellara, you can see, is just trying to up the pace. He's looking for a little bit more speed. And where Cancellara makes up the time... Ooh, I was about to say, where he makes the time up is through the corners and he nearly overcooked and he was right on the rails of that roundabout. 
Wiggins is riding Cancellara down for definite. He's now nine seconds off the reference point of Fabian Cancellara. So Wiggins is fighting his way back. He hasn't given up yet. He's gone steady up over that seven-kilometre point, up the climb. Wiggins now trying to get back on terms with Cancellara. Martin is by far the fastest rider on this course. As we head now towards this intermediate time split at 42 kilometres, and the reference point is Kirienka. 48 minutes, 26.07. Wiggins now is trying to beat the time of his Sky teammate, Kirienka. Wiggins goes fastest, 20 seconds faster than Kirienka. Wiggins now with that familiar grimace that we see when he really is starting to put the gas up. And Wiggins now is ratcheting up little bit by little bit. Cancellara is absolutely on the limit through the corners. He is trying to find any little bit of speed that he possibly can. Cancellara knows he's in a ride to try and get a medal here. It's all going to be about this last uh, sector, the last 15 kilometres, as we see the arrival now of Fabian Cancellara at the 42 kilometre point, 48 minutes, 5.71 is the time to beat, and he does by 12.34 seconds. Tony Martin was second fastest at seven kilometers. He was fastest by 13 seconds at the second point. Now we wait for him to arrive as the final rider to reach 42 kilometers. And Tony Martin is looking way, way quicker than everyone else. 28 seconds faster. It's a fantastic competition between these three riders. I don't think it matters what nationality you are right now. It is stunning to even see them. Wiggins now goes out of the left-hander and sprints his way down this wide via and tries to accelerate a little bit, which he is doing. He's now five seconds from Cancellara. I think he knows that Tony Martin is head and shoulders above them, but Wiggins will not want to be beaten by Cancellara. He'll want the silver medal and then he'll say, Right now, I'm an Olympic champion, and with hardly any racing this year, I'm still the second rider in the world as far as the time trial's concerned. Cancellara now fighting back. He will know that Wiggins is coming back at him. Slightly downhill now. Then he'll accelerate towards the finish. Wiggins now goes a second slower than he was previously. The next rider to finish will be the American rider, Taylor Finney. Finney has had a tough day out on the Tuscan roads. He has not had a good week here in these World Championships, but he is going to go now. Second fastest so far as Wiggins chases him down. Look at this. Finney now, one hour, seven minutes, 44. As Wiggins heads up towards the finish line, Wiggins is going to stop the clock. One hour, six minutes, 22.74. Wiggins goes quickest with an average speed of over 52 kilometers an hour. That's the standard standard we're looking at. Cancellara now has a sprint all the way up the finishing line to try and put himself into the silver medal position ahead of Brad Wiggins because I think Tony Martin's going to win the gold. Here goes Cancellara. It's a long, long finishing straight now. One hour, six minutes, 22.74. Cancellara's digging deep. He's giving it absolutely full throttle. He looks like he may well do it. One six ten for Cancellara. Heading towards the finish now. Is he going to do it? Cancellara is sprinting for all he is worth. It's going to be so close. Is he going to do it? I don't think he's going to. Cancellara, 1 hour 6, 24.99. He goes second fastest. Wiggins stays at the top of the leaderboard. So Tony Martin now is in the finishing area. Well, look at this. It has been a show of pure athletic ability. Tony Martin's going to have time to sit up. He's even got probably got time to do a victory salute. Tony Martin is the world champion. He wins in a time of one hour, five minutes, 36.65, 46 seconds faster than Wiggins. Tony Martin wins a hat-trick of world champions.
championship titles. And uh, that is a supreme performance from the German.